Hey everybody, it's Brandon again with another Chrome OS Flex video. Uh, first of all, I apologize. Um, I think the video is probably going to be a little laggy here. I'm recording this video using the Chrome OS Flex built-in screen recorder. And when I did the test of it a few minutes ago, the playback was really laggy. I don't know why. Um, if any of you know why this happened, let me know in the comments if you know a fix for it. Because I sure don't know what the deal is. But um, I was setting up a new device to test out Chrome OS Flex on for you guys, which I will have another video about that coming soon. But while I was setting it up, I noticed something new in Chrome OS and Chrome OS Flex that I never knew before that really makes uh, getting Linux set up super easy and uh, makes it a lot more helpful. And so what I was going to do on this device is I was going to download and install Android Studio, which uh, I did, by the way. I already did it before I started recording. Uh, I'll go ahead and load it up here. It comes right up. But anyway, so I uh, went to the Android Studio website, clicked on the download, got it, and it gives you a deb file, a Debian uh, package, which I downloaded, double clicked on it, and installed. No problem, right? Uh, the cool thing was, though, I did not uh, go into the developer tools and enable the Linux environment beforehand. I just uh, I just downloaded it, double clicked on it, and behind the scenes it automatically set up the Linux environment for me. I didn't have to allocate any space. And when I went into settings here, which I'm going to do right now, oh, advanced, and I go into the uh, developers, Linux. Um, the disk size is set for dynamically allocated. So I guess Chrome OS now in the uh, newer builds automatically manages the size of your Linux partition for you. It sets it up for you. You don't have to do anything. And it looks like it's going to shrink and uh, grow that uh, disk size as is needed. And I think that's awesome. I don't know what update this happened in. Um, let's see. I'm on right now the stable version which is 111 this is the first I've ever noticed it maybe you guys have noticed this for some time um, but I love this change this is uh, quite an improvement to how setting up Linux used to go on Chrome OS Flex and I assume regular Chrome OS 2 this is gonna make getting Linux up and running so much easier for so many people uh, so I think it's I think it's exciting um, so go ahead, check that out. If uh, you're using Chrome OS and you haven't done any Linux stuff yet, if you just download a Debian package and double-click on it, you don't even have to set up your Linux environment. It'll do it for you. It'll take care of the disk space for you. I think that's awesome. Uh, just to let you guys know, I um, I got a new mini PC that's sitting right here. This is an Intel Nook. I think you're supposed to say Nook. But um, this is a Celeron-based one. I'm go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and try Chrome OS Flex out on it. As you can see, obviously I got a webcam working. If I can center it right, I got a microphone, sound working through the headphones, Ethernet's working on this thing, Wi-Fi works. Uh, I haven't tested Bluetooth out yet, but I'm gonna test that before I do a video on this device. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, anyway, just exciting stuff. I think they're really making improvements to Linux on Chrome OS Flex. I wish I'd do improvements to screen capture because this video is probably laggy. I don't know why. That's a video and a story for another day. But until then, I thank you for watching. I hope you all have a good day and uh, stay tuned for uh, more content. Bye now.